Hello and welcome to another episode of the Handpan Video Podcast. My name is David Kukerman. This one features a video I recorded three years ago together with a friend of mine, Leo Vaidos, who is a sound engineer. Our mission was to find the perfect combination of microphones for the handpan. So we did some research and we organized 15 different microphones that all sounded interesting one way or the other, or he knew some of them, I knew some of them, and we tried to compare them as directly as possible. So what you will see in the video, um, I play on two different handpans, one SPB in C sharp to have a little bit more of a lower range instrument and one hung in G to have the higher register. The sequence starts with four small diaphragm condenser mics. Those are the ones that look like cigars. Then there are seven large diaphragm condenser mics. You usually find these in studios and they are also used, for example, to record vocals. And in the end, there are three dynamic mics and one ribbon mic. We included the classic Shure SM57 that you often find on concert stages for live amplification. While the differences between some of the mics are very obvious, with others it's quite subtle. So you will probably need good speakers or good headphones and to watch the video in HD to be able to hear those details. These are all the mics we tested. On the top you see the large diaphragm condenser microphones. Then on the bottom left there are the small diaphragm condensers. And for some reason we forgot to put the uh, Röder NT5S. And then there is the Roya ribbon mic, which always reminds me of classic Star Trek and the dynamic microphones. Now let's jump to the comparison, which starts with the large diaphragm condensers and the AKG C214. In the video description, there's also a link to the original uncompressed WAV files of the recording.
there you have it. That was a lot of repetition of the same pieces of music. But I hope it gave you an idea about how the different kinds of microphones sound with handpans and also which sound you like. There were some mics that really stood out for us. Uh, on, the, on the more budget level, we really liked the Octava MK12s. They have a reputation to be inconsistent in their quality, so you can have the same model of microphone and it can sound quite different. But the ones that we had, uh, we really liked them for the price. Uh, the recording tools MC700 is also designed by Octava. It's super cheap for a large diaphragm condenser studio microphone. Uh, so we combined these three for, to like a budget tree of microphones and we will show them to you in the, in the next video. Our personal favorites were the Shops. And while the ribbon mic, the Royer, was not so convincing for the overall sound, we really liked the bass quality, this warm soft bass that it gives. So um, our favorite combination turned out to be the Royer in the middle to give the bottom end and then the two Shepses on the sides. And you can also see that in the last video. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode a little bit of a different kind. And I see you in the next one.